Hi everyone, my name is Marcus and you're watching the Reef Nerd YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about pH and the ways to raise it, specifically using Coral Culture Australia's carbon dioxide reactor. So pH is a really important thing for marine fish tanks and we're always looking for ways to raise pH. For optimal coral coloration, growth and health, you want your pH to be above 8 and preferably around 8.3. There are various ways to raise the pH in your tank, such as opening a window and allowing fresh air into your house, running kalkwasser, which will naturally raise the pH of your tank. A healthy refugium can help combat low pH by algae growth, which will suck carbon dioxide out of the water. And finally, running a reactor with specific carbon dioxide scrubbing media inside it, such as this one right here. The typical causes of low pH in a reef tank can be very sealed houses with a lot of people breathing or not many plants inside the house, living in densely populated areas like cities, or running various products or equipment on your reef tank, which has a pH lowering effect. Things like calcium reactors and certain two-part additives. The benefits to raising your pH are increased coral coloration, growth, and health. So it's definitely something that everyone should look for, particularly if your tank typically sits at a pH of lower than eight. My tank sits traditionally around eight to 8.1, which is not too bad. And I dose a lot of Kalkwasser as well, but I do live in the city. So opening a window is not always an option for me. One, because it's the middle of winter and two, because it's quite loud outside. So I want my windows closed. And soon I'm gonna be installing a calcium reactor on my tank, which will have a pH lowering effect on the tank. So I wanna make sure that I have ways in place to keep my tank's pH high. So I bought this carbon dioxide reactor from Coral Culture Australia. As you can see, the unit is an absolute beast and is built like a tank. I'm pretty sure you could run this thing over with a truck and it would be fine. It is really heavy and really high quality. I've already filled it with reactor media. I believe the carbon dioxide reactor media is soda lime. It comes packaged in 500 gram bags like this, which are sealed for longevity of the reactor material. A word on this material, it is quite caustic, so you want to be very safe when you're handling it. That is wearing rubber gloves and definitely don't smell it, taste it or touch it or eat it. It's a fairly dangerous material to be handling with your bare hands. One of those bags will fill the reactor. It takes 500 grams of media to fill the reactor like this. Depending on your air quality and the amount of CO2 that is required to be scrubbed through the reactor, average lifespan of the media is one to two months. And you can expect a pH upswing of between 0.3 and 0.5 on average. I, I've run this reactor on my tank now for a couple of days and my pH average has gone from 8.0, 8.1 to 8.3, 8.4. So I'm really happy with the results. The media is color changing. So once it's expired and no longer effective, it will have changed to a light purple color. Although pH testing on your tank will also tell you when the media needs to be replaced. To use the reactor, you'd plummet into the air intake of your skimmer. The barb fittings that come with the reactor will fit 11 to 13 millimeter vinyl tubing. So you're likely gonna need an adapter to down convert that to the three to seven mil tubing that's likely used for your air intake on your skimmer. If you wanna get really fancy and absolutely optimize the lifespan of your media, you can feed the intake of the reactor from your skimmer cup. So it's recirculating the same air. Um, this will vastly increase the efficiency of the reactor and the longevity of the media. However, that may or may not be possible depending on your skimmer. Another option to extend the reactor's media lifespan is to run a tube outside and draw fresh air in from outside your house, if possible. Just note that a really long run to your nearest window or wherever you're drawing the air from will reduce the efficiency of your skimmer as it adds more pressure to the air intake and therefore will lower the air intake to your skimmer. So just keep that in mind. You may have to retune your skimmer after attaching the reactor. Reactors like this are a great way to increase the pH in your tank. And if used in conjunction with other methods like refugiums, calcwasser, and good air ventilation around your tank, pH issues can be a thing of the past for your tank. I hope you found this video helpful. If you've got any questions on tank pH or running a reactor like this in your setup, let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Marcus. Bye for now.